Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my vids and more. Link in the description below. Alright, welcome back, YouTubers and Madden fans. This is Mad Money Shot sniffing at the Madden cheese as always. I got some fire plays for you today out of the Steelers playbook. When I did the playbook reviews, I basically went over every playbook and ranked them. Uh, the Steelers were like in the top three when I did the AFC, so I don't know why it took me so long to get to them. Uh, but basically, one of my new Patreon uh, members just happened to mention that they used my Steelers playbook all last year, and uh, they were disappointed that they couldn't find anything out of the Steelers, uh, like it wasn't a good book anymore. So when he said that, I was like, "Come on, man! Like the Steelers playbook is fire." So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to show some plays out of this today. I don't even know which one I want to do. I got two uh, really, really, really good uh, passing schemes out of the single back trips and um, the gun. Where is it at here? The the gun empty bunch. These are like, they're both so good. I don't know which one I want to show first. So whichever one I want to show first, make sure you hit the like button um, so you can see the second part. Or go on my Patreon because all this stuff is going to be on my Patreon right away. I got probably two six place schemes out of both. A lot of the plays out of the trips I actually already put out um, in my uh, Ravens ebook uh, with the exception of a couple of plays which I'm going to show you like the slants here. So if you guys want to see the full breakdown of this, um, like I said, it's already in uh, an ebook and a full length video that I put out. All that stuff's in the description below if you want to check that out. Either way, uh, I'm going to go ahead and get into the first play, which is the slants. This one here is one of the, um, I don't know, one of the cheesiest plays that I could say that I've, uh, I've played this year. Uh, your setup as far as what to do, you got to hit R1. Uh, right here, this guy right here, Eli Rogers, not very fast. You want a speedster there. So basically this play right here, there's like so much going on in this play. You can run it like this to an extent. I would say the, the most basic setup if you wanted to do that was put McDonald here on a on a uh, a drag. And that's going to be important because he's going to come open underneath as you check down. But the double slants is not bad. Um, you have a, a runner in the back which acts as a pretty good blocker. And your first read really is going to be Hunter versus Brown. You're just going to read uh, which guy... Um, you know the, the the slot corner or the linebacker whatever they have there you're gonna read wherever he reacts to you uh, first if he reacts inside you pass lead outside you get a really quick open play and a lot of times you're quicker than that uh, but yeah that's not a typical defense you're gonna see they have like the safety was like basically down playing where Brown and Hunter was you're typically gonna see a defense like this anyway so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna put uh, McDonald here on a drag and uh, then now I'm gonna make a couple of different adjustments but I tip how I typically like to run this is I uh, put Brian here um, on a uh, fade route and actually I like to put him down on a slant I didn't mean to put him on a drag on this variation so um, this here you're gonna see how uh, Bryant will just against certain coverages will get open right away uh, another option I like to do is like the motion out the running back and you can put him on a drag um, as another ch as a check down option now that the McDonald's kind of doing something a little bit different so you can do that or you can put him on an in route or something like that it really doesn't matter but he's your check down option so right here like I said if, if there's nobody standing in front of Bryant he gets open immediately if I pass to the outside no matter what uh, but there's a guy standing in front of him so that's not really the read so my read here if it's going to be man I'm pretty, probably going to go McDonald or the R1 route or if it's a single high safety man which this might be uh, uh, Antonio Brown's going to be really good up the seam which it does look like it's going to be so I'm going to wait till he turns that corner we're going to turn it up and we're going to hit him for a big touchdown over the top baby that's why I said you got to have your fastest guy where Brown is because if you see single high safety man it's lights out so this one right here I'm going to do the same setup um, I'm waiting for somebody not to drop in Brian's lane you can see how cheesy Brian's play uh, is uh, that's one of the like the quickest open routes you're ever going to see so we're going to go ahead um, waiting for that look like I said hopefully this guy will blitz uh, he does not, but it doesn't matter because that that, that tight end is going to be open nine times out of ten too. The tight end route is really going to be like the user specific route. They'll probably be on that, leaving a lot of these other options open. Uh, but like I said, my first read is really Brown versus Hunter. And if there's nobody standing in front of Bryant, that switches my first read to Bryant right away. Uh, but let's go ahead and let's run this one more time. And you can see there he he reacts outside, so the slant's wide open. The guy takes the outside route, boom, inside route's open. Now here's what I was talking about. This is just the dirty portion of this play. Uh, if you have a zone like this, all you have to do is bullet pass lead outside right away and uh, Bryant is just open every time. Even with that safety coming down, which typically won't happen, sometimes they can get in the way of one another. So like I said, you could really just go with um, McDonald here on a drag. So he just comes open underneath Brown and Hunter. He's gonna be open every time. Here once again, Bryant pass lead outside, open right away. That's just like, Incredible spacing like I, this is one of the better spaced plays And if you don't pass lead it outside which you know 
all you have to do is hold the left stick outside and then bullet pass. Uh, it doesn't work the same way. So you have to make sure you're pass leading if you don't know how to do that. Uh, here's another one. I don't know what that was, but it's like he's just right at that seam like every time. Like that's one of the better, like I don't know what it is about this play, the positioning, how this guy pulls zones. Um, I'm waiting for that square route to, to cross. <laughs> I, was, I waited a little while there. I, I knew he would clear it if I lobbed. Yeah, as far as your, your looks, I mean, like I said, once again, I don't know if it's a cover three, cover two. I just know there's nobody in front of Bryant. He's going to be open right away. Um, if it's a cover, if it's a man coverage, it's Brown or McDonald uh, based off of whether it's a cover two high or a single high. If it's single high, it's Brown. If it's cover two, it's McDonald. He's your check down or Hunter in that scenario. Um, and that's really the basics of it. I mean, there's, you know exactly who to throw to before the play even starts and how to throw to them. Like, this is just wide open here. You can take that all day, every day. Like I said, man, you guys got to let me know in the comment section. I could do a whole ebook out of this next, but um, I'm not sure what the next ebook is going to be either way. But either way, you guys let me know in the comment section, man. Just talking to one of my patrons, just him saying Steelers made me go Steelers. So you guys, you know what I mean? I listen. If you guys leave in the comment section, believe me, I, every time you guys put this playbook or such and such playbook, I'm listening. Believe me. So let's go ahead and let's um, go to the next play. I'm going to say the next play, I want to go with the PA Boot LT. This is a really good play. Yeah, in that last play, I accidentally gave the defense an advantage because I gave him a dime look, and I only have a three-wide receiver look. So there's two different ways to run this play. This looks like a man coverage, so I know right away uh, that Bryant's route is going to be the look. Um, I probably should have put my faster Antonio Brown slot receiver there, uh, but it doesn't matter. It's going to work regardless. So that's one way to do it. Um, this play action is really key. I want uh, to make this read between this tight end, who you can see here is just it's just a dirty route going down the middle. That's not even a good tight end. And then you're also making the read against Bryant. Like I said, this is not a lot of adjustments, but I'm going to show you one with an adjustment real quick here in a minute. Um, the, the adjustment that you can make is if you put this running back out, and you really have the choice. You can either put him on a drag under McDonald, or you can put him on a slant. And either way, he's going to come open underneath what McDonald's doing. Um, as you see, he gets the one-on-one -on -one here. i got a good running back, so he's going to make plays. Yeah, if they start shading down, too, to take away Bryant, um, that's going to make the triangle uh, the look. But you can see how this is deep play down in the middle. I mean, I don't know why. They just don't seem to be covering that guy at all. And I don't know if it's the play action or what, but I'm going to go ahead and move on to the next play. Like I said, I've been using that play since last year, and it was super consistent. So carrying over to this year still works really good. So I'd show you guys a run play, so I'll go ahead and I'll do that. I, to me, the best one is the stretch. Uh, make sure if you can put your coaching adjustments, which I can't do here because it's practice, but anytime you run this year, put your blocking on aggressive because um, that just kicks it up a notch. Uh, I don't know if you saw that tip video that I put out, uh, but aggressive blocking is huge. So let's go ahead and let's go with the stretch. Slight adjustments, nothing crazy. We'll keep going with the random nickel. All I'm going to do here is flip it back towards my receivers. Now, this here is a 3 through 5 so I don't know if Bryant... I mean, I definitely have a blocking disadvantage right out the gate. Uh, but basically, I would say if it's a man coverage, it'd be best to run it behind your receivers. If it's a zone coverage, it'd be best... Actually, I'm sorry, I got that backwards. If it's a zone coverage, it'd be best to run behind your wide receivers. If it's a man coverage, it's best to run it as is because the other side's typically open. But this defense here um, is one of the better defenses out there. I'll go ahead and I'll run it. Hopefully, I'll get a good run as I do get some good blocking. Uh, Bryant there doing a good job. So let's run this once or twice more. Like I said, it's nothing too crazy. Uh, but you can see how then the blocking set up. Oh, man. Oh, man. I want that touchdown so bad. But you can see how the blocking sets up. This 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 guy here, I mean, you could always put like a tight end in where Brian is as I'm over pursuing my blocking again. Still getting a pretty decent carry though. But you could always um, put in, uh, you know, a better blocker where, where Brian is because that is really the key block. As you can see, he's doing a pretty good job as I just can't get that touchdown though. At times, it seems like Brian is blocking like Heinz Ward out there. All right, so there we go. Nice carry. That's just like I said, this is a really good run. Just flip it back inside. Um, we'll go ahead and we'll move on. That's probably the end of video number one. I definitely got enough for part number two if you guys want to see it. Um, this is a phenomenal formation, but definitely hit the like button. 
for this gun formation. This right here, if you like to throw the ball around because there's no running back anyway, this formation is, it was great like two years ago, but they totally killed it last year. And then it's back in a big way. This gun empty bunch is phenomenal. So I'm definitely going to record that now, put it on my Patreon. So it's up to you if you want to either try to see it on here or see it on my Patreon or see part two of uh, the single back trips. Uh, but either way, hit the like button for that. And that's it. Thanks for watching Mad Money Shit Out. If you need more help or just want to show your support, then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my vids and more. Link in the description below.